Hello friends, welcome back to this video. Now, in the previous video, we saw the concept known as pivot table design tab. We saw that what are the various options that we get in the pivot table design tab. Now, in this video, I'll be discussing about one of the important topic in pivot table that is known as date grouping. Many times we are having some date column and if we want to use the date column, we should go for the date grouping. Let us see in this video how we can go for the date grouping. So in the previous video, we created this pivot table and we had done some little bit of beautification of this pivot table. Now let us do one thing that let us clear this current pivot table. I go to the analyze tab and I click this button clear, clear all. And now this pivot table is gone. Now let us create here a new pivot table. So what we'll do that here we are having two date column that is order date and the sheep date. So I drag one of the date column, let's say order date. I put it in the row section. Now you see that as soon as I put one of the date field in the row section, then here automatically pivot table is creating a date grouping. So we have not done anything. It is automatically done here. So we are having here the three levels of hierarchy for the date that is years, quarters and months. So here we can see this thing. Now what we do that here in the value section, we drag here one of the numerical field that is known as sales field. So I drag the sales field. I put it over here and now we are getting here the sum of sales. Now if I want to use the column also, I can put here something in the column. I drop the segment over here in the column section and now we are having here this pivot table. Now let us go to the hierarchy of this order date. So what we'll do that here we are having this plus sign. So if I click on the plus sign here then from the year level we are going to the quarter level. Now if I click the plus sign for the quarter then we go to the month level and if I click this plus sign in the month level then I go to the our order date. So this is how we are able to see the data. Now if I select this one of the year right click and then if I go for this option expand oblique collapse in the expand oblique collapse we have here expand collapse expand entire field collapse entire field collapse to years expand to quarters expand to months expand to order date so suppose if I click this option expand to quarter then it gets expanded to the quarter level similarly if I select this quarter and right click and if I go to expand public collapse and if I go for the expand to months then the months get expanded so this is how we are able to create the date grouping now let us assume that if you are not able to get this date grouping automatically so let me do one thing that i remove this years quarters and month i just put here the order date and suppose if we are not having any date grouping automatically then what we can do here that when we are having the individual dates i can select one of the date right click and then i can go for this option known as group if i click on group then here I'm having this dialog box, which is known as grouping dialog box, where we have the starting date. The starting date is 3rd of January 2021 and the ending date is 31st of December 2024. Now here I can do the grouping based on the months, quarters and years. Suppose if I don't want to see the quarters, I want to see only the years and months. I can remove these quarters and now I can click the OK button. When I click the OK button, then automatically the pivot table will create the two levels of hierarchy that is year and months. So this is also the option that we are having if the pivot table is not automatically creating the date grouping. Otherwise, what I can do, I can remove this order date. I can bring here the years, quarters and months. And now we are having that kind of hierarchy. So this is how we can play with this hierarchy. Now I can also go to the pivot table analyze tab. In the pivot table analyze tab, we are having also this button that is expand field collapse field. So if I select this one of this year 2022 and if I click on expand field, then you see that everything get expanded here. And if I click on the collapse field, then everything get collapsed. So from here in this pivot table analyze tab also, we are having these buttons and that is how we are able to create the date grouping. So friends, in this video, we have seen the date grouping. Now in the next video, I'll be showing you that what kind of other groupings that we can do in pivot table. So see you then in the next video. Thank you very much.